<laughs> yeah, how do you like it? It's not very nice, isn't it? It's a bit aggressive, wouldn't you say? What's up guys, welcome back. So today's video is another boohoo haul where Watson bites me the entire time. I know this is a really random background, but I was honestly just shooting some photos and stuff before this of some of these pieces and it was just easier for me to sit down in this room and film. I have some really cute stuff to share with you guys today. Hopefully I'll be able to wear them out of the house very soon. Isolation life is slowly crushing my soul. I can't even imagine how hard it is for all of you guys out there. I just really hope everyone is staying safe and doing okay. It's just a really weird time in the world. I don't even know what else to say on it. Things have been so strange lately and I know that I've been super down, which is why I've been pretty absent on YouTube. I've just found it really hard to be motivated and get into like talking to a camera. Hopefully this video gives you guys some positive vibes today and it can Take all our minds off it and we can just plan some fun, beautiful outfits. I do have a discount code for you guys. It is just KCR and that will get you 50% off. So a huge thank you to Boohoo for organizing that for me um, and just for partnering with me on this video. Hopefully you guys like it. If you do, thumbs it up, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're new here, hopefully you guys stick around because I would love to have you. So these are the first little pieces to show you guys. I'm super bloated right now. I don't know what I did, but I ate something I shouldn't have. So I'm like giving birth. If I look uncomfortable, ugh, that's why. These are from their sustainable collection. This is like a little ribbed kind of top. It has like a really 90s feel to it. I think it is so cute. I love like the high kind of neck and it's got like a high back as well. And I just love it. These pants are just a really cool like crepe material. These are amazing. I wish I had these when I was in school because I always wore black pants like this. What's that? They're so creepy and like amazing. Like they're so stretchy. And oh my god, the fabric is so nice. Like it's just literally, you want to go out, do you? I really don't want to have that door open, but he wants to come and go. So, so nice. I'm going to try and get up close and show you guys. What is that? Where's the light? Jesus Christ. Can you see what they're like? I don't even know. Hella stretchy. They're like a really nice texture on them. They're like super, super nice. Like I'm really happy with the quality of these. They hug the booty as well. Can you guys see? The booty. I think they're so flattering. The make you get them. Like, oh, but hey. I just love them. I've been wearing them all day. They're so comfy. They are a little bit long on me. And next up, we have a coat. I picked up a couple of coats, actually, because winter is obviously coming up in Australia. I think this coat with this black outfit is, like, such a vibe. Such a vibe. I got this pretty oversized. I can't remember what size I got. I should probably check. I got this in a size 10. If I'm getting, like, a coat that actually fits properly and like has like a tailored look <laughs> i would usually get like a size six or an eight but i wanted it to be really <laughs> oversized i said i have to do it raise the room i feel like these rolls would be really cute though i kind of like the look of like I just found like a hobo's jacket. I think this is super nice. I'm gonna be living in this in winter because it's just such an easy like throw over. It's so nice and long if you guys can see that far above my ankles. I just love how like big and just baggy and oversized yet structured it is. I think it's so cool. And I really love it with like this outfit and my hair like this because I kind of have like girly up here, tight and fitted underneath and this is really big and oversized. Today, Shut up. Such a vibe. Mm -hmm. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. Party's out on the west side. I'm arranged by my shorty. And I turn it up. Designated giant with the tea in my car. Next, I picked another coat, which I was surprised with the material of this. I did not expect it. But I got this in a size 10. And it's like a Mac. Like a long line Mac kind of coat. I don't really know what that means, but what it says on the website it looked like i don't know i had like a different idea of what it was in mind and i think that it did have like shorter sleeves on the website but I'm pretty sure i just figured because i'm short that they would like fit full length this is like a really light kind of stretchy material which surprised me this wasn't really what i expected at all but i surprisingly really like it i think this is going to be really cute for those days where it's not too hot it's not too cold you just want like a little layer of something or if you're wearing like a little singlet top but you don't want to have like everything exposed and you just want to like accessorize your look i think this is cute for when we can all leave the house 
hopefully soon. Like I'll go if I was going shopping or like out to lunch. I think it's cool because you can dress it up or dress it down depending if you wear like sneakers with it or like if you want to wear. I feel like I'm just being really, I haven't filmed like a fashion haul talking through in a really long time. And so I don't really know what to do. It really is just a really light jacket. It's not really like a coat. So this next set is really, really cute. I wore this on Instagram in a post maybe like a few weeks ago. I just think this is so cute. So this is from the Hembro collection. The Hembro sisters came out with a collection with Boohoo and this was like one of their pieces or like the sets that were included in their collection. And I just think it is so cute. Is there no pockets? Oh my God, there's no pockets. Wait, there's pockets here. Oh wait, they're fake pockets. Oh my god. Okay, no pockets. I'm really into like these little matching sets at the moment and like blazers and like structured pieces with like more like casual pieces, like these shorts. And I just think it's such a vibe. You could wear this with like sneakers, with like a pair of chunky boots, with heels, you know, shoes. Wear it with shoes. I can't remember what size I got, so I will leave it in the description down below. The shorts are like a little bit big on the waist but I feel like everywhere else they fit really nicely and like what I like to do is if I want them to be a little bit shorter I just give them a little roll and it just kind of changes the look you know what I mean like that you don't know if I'm wearing pants but I am. I feel like it's so easy for like a dinner or like a lunch date or something when we can leave the house again obviously because it's just a weird time right now but I'm like stocking up for the day when I can and I tell ya when I come out and I shave my legs and I do my tan and I get my lashes done and I get my nails done and cut my thick yellow toenails. It's over for you bitches. Okay, so I haven't done these pants up yet because I wanted to show you how big they are. Size medium slash large I got, which I'm obviously not a medium slash large and you guys can tell. I just knew that this style of pants was going to be like meant to be like leggings. And I really like mine to be oversized and comfy and I didn't want anything like too tight on my bum because I just plan to wear these at home. And I just love like a more baggy look. So I would say if you are typically like a medium large and you want more of a baggy look, just size up. I just think it's a really comfy lounge set to wear around the house, especially in ISO at the moment. If you are gonna wear it out of the house, you can just do like a little tuck at the front, wear it with like a pair of sneakers. So basically this is just like a knitted matching set. They do taper and have like a bit of a cuff um, and same with the bottoms as well. Don't be like fooled into thinking that these are really, really small. This is just how they fit on me. So if you're bigger than me, they're just gonna be more skin tight, like a pair of like knitted leggings, which I think they're kind of meant to be that style. I really wanted like a gray tracksuit kind of set because I don't have anything like really gray in my wardrobe, but I don't know why. And I love that it hides everything. I don't know why I'm so bloated, I'm like in pain. What are you even eating? I had like eggs for lunch. Okay, so these pair of pajama pants came with a matching top, which I cannot find for the life of me. So out of breath, because I just went and searched for it everywhere, and I know the second that I don't need to find it, it's going to turn up, which is so annoying, and it's always the way it goes. Um, but it's so cute, so I'm going to include a little picture. Picture? I'm going, to include, I'm going to include a picture of what the set looks like. It's got funny pockets, but I mean, it's pajamas, so it doesn't really matter. Basically, the top is exactly the same as the pants, but it has like a really cute little frill and it's like a little crop top. And I think it says like honey or something on it. I don't know, but it's so cute. These are jammies. So I got these in a size eight. I just don't like my jammy pants to be really tight. Obviously, like they're for sleeping, so I want them to be nice and loose. They're not too long, but they do like go past my feet a little bit. So comfy. I just really wanted the elastic to not be too tight. And, um, whoa, what's on? I'm standing on you. I wish I could show you guys the top. So it is Watson, but unfortunately, I don't know where it is. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? So cute, really comfy. They're really nice and stretchy and ribbed, and they're like nice and breathable for um, just like all kinds of weather. What's up, my baby? What's up? Do you want your mom? Where's your mommy? My dad's gonna be home soon. We're gonna take you to the beach. Isolation walk. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be so exciting. You're just like a big baby. Go on, what's my son? <sighs> Alright, I feel like this is meant. This is. Meant, so, this is gonna be the most random outfit ever. But <laughs> I just. I should have tried it on when I have my black pants on. Stop! Get out of here, fool. I'm just quickly throwing it on over top of this because 
I'm not gonna get naked. So this is just a really pretty little throw over kind of beachy robe. I really wanted this for when I'm taking like, when I'm taking like lingerie or like bikini photos or anything like that for Instagram and I just want like a little bit of a cover up or for the days where I am going to the beach and I just don't wanna like be fully exposed in a bikini when I'm like walking around or if we're going getting hot chips and things like that. Obviously it's not like super beach weather at the moment and it's like ISO. So we can't really do much of that, but it still is really beautiful weather in Australia. So we have been taking Watson for walks on the beach. Not that I'm gonna be wearing this, I'm just walking my dog like a flowing angel. I'm pretty sure isolation will hopefully be up very soon. And the weather's always really beautiful in Australia anyway, even in the middle of winter. So yeah, I just thought this was really cute, especially for like, if I'm just kind of like cleaning around the house and it's not too hot and I just want something to throw over over top of like little jammy shorts and a singlet or something. I just thought it was really cute. So yeah, I couldn't not get it. I love like the frilly sleeves. Apparently Watson does too. Can you stop? So last but not least, I have just a few little belts and shoes to show you guys, which I'm just gonna have to keep grabbing away from Watson because he loves to shoe my shoes and ruin them. This is the first pair of shoes I grabbed. They are so cute. If you guys can even see them. Bro, you need to get out of the way. Can't believe he thinks that that's patting him. Sit, good boy. Oh, he's so good boy, now stay there. I got them in a three slash 36, which is my usual sizing. I have very, very small feet, but these fit like an absolute glove, which foot goes with. Really, really cute and they are so adorable and I just love them literally so much. They're like made of like this really beautiful nude faux suede. Watson, you're not making it easy for me. I'm home alone because Hamish has to work all day. I have to work all day. Unfortunately, I work from home, so I have to deal with this guy. Mr. Humpity. These are just really, really cute, so comfy, and I'm just really in love with like little baby heels at the moment. I love like slip-on heels that don't have like any straps or anything as well. The next pair that I picked up are like a really cute quilted black pair. They have more of like a um, flared out kind of heel, like it's a lot chunkier and it's got like a really cool style to it. I got these in a 336 as well. You want my watch, don't you? Here, take the watch. There you go. I think they fit so nicely. I don't even know how I'm supposed to show shoes on camera to you guys. And they're so comfy and I just cannot even wait to wear these out of the house. And then I got a couple of belts. These came in like a three pack. I got one taupe kind of colored belt because I don't really have anything in like this stony kind of taupe color. And it had like a really cute little like square buckle. And that's what drew me, drew me to these because they all had different shaped buckles. This one is just brown and it has a circular buckle. And then the black one has like an octagon. I thought they were all really cute. They're very light and like kind of flimsy feeling, but honestly, I just don't really care when it comes to belts. Okay, that's enough for running mum's watch. But that is everything for this video. I'm gonna take this little rascal to the beach, but thank you guys so much for watching. If it was your first video and your first time here, then I really hope that you guys choose to subscribe. I promise I will try and keep this guy under wraps in future videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in my next video.